And police say 37 year old April Goins was crossing this intersection when her car was hit by a train. Friends tell me Goins was a nurse who always put her children and patients first. And the person you're about to meet was at church with the family just hours before the deadly crash happened. April was like our glue, our rock. We needed anything. April was there. She had your back. This is April Goins with her eight year old daughter, Jacqueline. The shirt is I wear a green ribbon for Jacqueline. Friends say Goins donated her kidney to help save her daughter's life after battling kidney disease. The eight year old was the only survivor of the deadly crash that killed her mother and three brothers. Friends say the boys were seven, 12 and 17 years old. Police say right now, Jacqueline is in serious condition at a Tulsa hospital. There's big plans for Jacqueline, we believe. She just overcomes so much in her little life, you know, so much heartbreak. You can see what's left of the family car. Police say it was pushed more than 130 feet down the tracks. Police say it's a miracle anybody survived. It's been a long time since we've had something, you know, th this horrific. I mean, it's just, it's hard to wrap your mind around it. I mean, you know, for for, for all intents and purposes, uh, almost an entire family wiped out. Something had to have happened in that car. I don't know what, you know, one of her children had a form of Tourette's. So sometimes he would have little seizures and stuff. Or maybe the kids were distracting her or something, but she would never put her kids' lives in danger. And police tell me they may never know exactly what caused Goins to pull in front of that train. Now, right now, funeral arrangements have not been made for Goins or for her three sons.